She once told me that we Northerners are like coconuts, hard and rough on the outside, but beautiful and warm within. Yet, what if it's not our doing? What if we just take after the land that we call home? For a long time, Iceland has been number one on the list of countries I'd like to visit. There's some sort of magic to this place. An island created by the marriage of ice and fire. So when the man, my first mentor in the field of cinematography, asked if I'd be interested in such a journey, my answer was quick. <laughs> and so, our story began. We started by discovering some of the best known sites in the country. And followed the roads of ancient Vikings. As soon as it got too crowded, we had a clear plan to head inland, to come face to face with Iceland's true self, its wild nature. Iceland has got a storm warning. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna sit down here, it's way too cold. And uh, a part of this F road has been closed because there's snowstorms coming and they don't want people driving there. But what can one do when the plan is no longer an option? Accept the faith and find shelter? Or on the contrary, take the most of every moment given and let Mother Nature itself guide the way? I couldn't have had a better place to wake up. Instead of finding shelter, we were following the storm cyclone. In a small patch of clear skies it left behind. So like sheep, shepherded by the dark clouds, we were guided on a round trip of the island. Shown the whole spectrum of this land sites more unique than our wildest expectations.
this was the story that Iceland told us. A story of letting go and having trust. A story of seeing beauty behind discomfort. A story of how in darkest moments there can be light.